still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Standing in now, Jared Sow. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. The run scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, d -roll, but that big base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. Now a move over to first, and the runner back. Sow, base runner at first with one out. And again a throw, a dive, but he's back. Into the box now, Bravik Valera lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. Runner at first here, one man out. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The next one two pitch. Runners off for second. Swing and a missed strike three. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Don't know if that was a true hit and run there with two strikes or not, but he's into second base safely on the strikeout. Moreno. Ready for another chance. Manuel Moreno 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. Man 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning. Ideally you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings so he's got some catching up to do. The one two praises him a strikeout looking. So it's two runs on two hits no errors and a runner left on now to the bottom of the second International League stars on top two to nothing. Leading off the inning Orlando Garcia and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey we're still in the early stages of this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Bouncer up the middle. Newberry ranges to his left. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. And one of the main backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. So coming to the plate Andres Cuevas one out nobody on lifted down the line in left Kazada giving chase but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Batting seven second baseman Hernan. Perez. Stepping up now, Hernan Perez. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, 
Dino Cortez. O2 is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Cuevas leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Got him swinging, made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Felix Hernandez, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Stepping into the box, Douglas Newberry. He flew out in his last at-bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Popped him up. Arcia will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. First baseman number 23, Luke Voigt. Digging in for his second at-bat, Luke Voigt. He drew a walk his first time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Here now the 2-2. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Tamori on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. At the plate, Matt Davidson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Leaves a change up high for a strike. There's a called strike on a change up. Not a particularly good one. That change up up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that change up down in the zone around the knees. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Walker has got it and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The International League Stars lead it two to nothing. Masahiro Tanaka takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 19. Masahiro Tanaka. Stepping into the box, Jason Armstrong. He'll be the one to lead off against Masahiro Tanaka. 3 0 pitch. Is in there for strike one. I mean, that's almost an unhittable pitch right there. The downward action of that nasty split finger add in the velocity in the high 80s. You ain't doing much with that. Hot shot on the ground is short. Newberry has it. And there's one away. Now batting left fielder. Kenji Tomori. Digging in, Kenji Tomori. He reached on a single in his first try. <laughs> Hit hard on the ground is short. To his right, Newberry. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, third baseman, Garrett Walker. At the plate, Garrett Walker. Two out, nobody on.
Rounded back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the top of inning number four. International League stars on top, two to nothing. Paul Blackburn, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Paul Blackburn. Stepping up to the plate, Franklin Holly. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. He's around first, heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt. Some people like to crow about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Digging in, Pedro Gutierrez. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. There's a swing and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they move on top four to nothing. Man, he threw a two-seamer, hoping to get some movement, but that thing did nothing to fool him, and he squared it up perfectly. Pretty swing of the bat there. Into the box, Rafael Cazada. Right side. Oh, he makes the stop. The throw to first in time. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made a great stop, still had to make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate that one. Standing in now, Jared Sow. High pop-up. Armstrong waits on it. Two gone. Now batting. Second Ready now, break it Valera. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Soft liner towards short. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits, and that's exactly what that was. Soft liner into left field. Nice job. In now, Manuel Moreno, left side. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. The International League Stars lead it four to nothing. Zach Eflin, the right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Digging in now, Domingo Santana looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Seared down the first baseline, and this will get past him down the line at first. It's a fair ball. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. 
And it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing at a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. Stepping in now, Kike Hernandez. And it's fouled away. Santana stands at second with no outs. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box, Orlando Arcia. And that one just missed outside. The 2 1 home. Push softly over toward the right side. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting, third baseman. Andres. Digging in to try it again, Andres Cuevas. He singled his last time up. The one-two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 4-1 game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knock. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. It's a run on two hits, one left. We played four full. International League stars on top, four to one. Ramon Marquez will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 25, Ramon Marquez. Ready once again, Douglas Newberry. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight change of right so El Cambio. Her Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. Mm -hmm. And what happens? Point. Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Luke Boyd. Ball. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it two and one. Line towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball, but gets an off speed pitch, doesn't try to do too much, and drives it for a base hit. Into the box now, Matt Davidson. 
A ball and two strikes to Matt Davidson. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. This is the pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. In now, Franklin Holly. This is skied into short left center. Tamori is after it, and that ends the inning. Sean Franco gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 31, Sean Franco. Into the box, Dino Cortez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 1 home is a fastball that misses. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Steve Here's Ryan. a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys going. If this continues, I guarantee you, you see a different lineup tomorrow. Here now the 2 2. Popped high in the air. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. The catcher, number 13. Now at the plate, Jason Armstrong. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One out, nobody on. He stays alive, still 2 and 2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The left fielder, number four, Kenji. So the lineup Tomori. flips over and digging in, Kenji Tomori. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Moreno going back to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Rodrigo Raimo takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 31, Rodrigo Raimo. Ready to take his hacks again, Pedro Gutierrez, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B., but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summerskill at third, and he says no swing, so it's ball one. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Swinging bunt up the third baseline. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. The left fielder, number double zero, Rafael. Now to the plate, Rafael Quezada. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Yeah. 
That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled off. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Takes this the other way to right. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. The right field number 34. Jared Sow. Striding in once again. Jared Sow. Popped him up. Cuevas is under it. And the inning is over. Rob Berry enters to do the now pitching in the bottom of the sixth. League. Number 30, Rob Berry. So digging in now, Garrett Walker. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One one home is taken for ball two. That's a three and one now. Domingo Santana is on deck. on and missed three and two he's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball into the windup ready with the payoff pitch softly hit out to short and one gone right fielder number 16 Domingo Santana. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Domingo Santana. He's one for two in this one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Line to the right side, but foul. Here's another one, two. Popped him up. Gutierrez is under this one as he has it right in front of the dugout for the second out. A designated hitter, Kike. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kike Hernandez. Now the 2 1. There's a low changeup that's laid off. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. In the air out toward right field. Sal has a read on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Welcome back to Safeco Field here in Seattle. We're off to the seventh inning now, but first let's have a look at our game summary to see how we got here. Your Francisco Hara is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Francisco 
Para. Bravik Valera will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. The one two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Adrian Pena will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Nope, and he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. The two one is laid off of for ball number three. One taken strike two. Three balls, two strikes. Hops this one up. Perez has a play. Two down. Now batting the shortstop. Charlie Culberson will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rip down the first base line and the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes the pitcher can execute his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Andres Aguilar will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Culberson, the runner at first with two gone. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. It's time for the traditional seventh inning strike. Adrian Pena will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Number 24, Adrian Pena. Charlie Culberson will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Andres Aguilar will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Derek Robinson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Robinson. Russ Peters is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Two balls and a strike. The two one home. Two and two the count. Rounded down the third baseline. 
But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Number 21 will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. He makes the throw to first, two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hernan Perez. No hits to this point. The 1 1 home. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. The throw into second. And he's safe. They haven't had much luck so far tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra base hit. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. At the plate, Dino Cortez. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count 3 and 2. Three two pitch hit out towards second Valera fields it cleanly and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over danger averted following the two out double don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. Your Russ Peters play. will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop number 41. Russ. Peter. Number 21 is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Julio Corona has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Corona. Number 43 is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. The two two pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And this will miss down low in the dirt. So he's worked it full now at three and two. Now here's a line drive that will make it out into left center. And he's going to have himself a leadoff single. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate, but tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit.
stepping in, Franklin Holly. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. The one two pops this one up Perez ranging into shallow right he can't get there as it falls in and that's the first down. Oh man I don't know how that happened looked to be a base hit to the outfield but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate to be honest that just can't happen. Santiago Ruiz will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two to count now. The one and two pitch looked like the cut fastball there and he got him to swing through it for the second out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Into the box Rafael Cazada mine to the right side. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Santiago Ruiz is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Santiago. Jim Davila is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jim Davila. Leading off the inning, Jason Armstrong, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Three and one to him now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Three, two. Hit back up the middle. Coberson loves it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The left fielder, number four, Kenji Willie Calhoun. We'll move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Willie Calhoun. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs they do not want to face the closer needing three runs in the ninth that means game over a little early and now it's even at two and two I always say hitting's a process of elimination at the plate I think he could go ahead and eliminate change up two in a row back to back I don't think there'll be a third and a splitter swung on and missed that time and that'll be out number two now that is Roberto Cordero will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out from the base is empty. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Culberson ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We've played eight full. The International League Stars lead it four to one. 
Ready to start the ninth as we get a stunning shot there of the Seattle skyline on a great night for baseball. Willie Calhoun will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Roberto Cordero will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Uh, Murray Rivera enters the game from the pen and because this is a non save situation it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah and this is all about just getting him some work guys he hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Now the 2 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Another full count offering on its way. Liner towards second. He gets dirty but he can't get there and it's into center field. Hey this looks like it could be a potential add on inning here in the ninth. Add on gives some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning D row. Yeah you love when the offense stays aggressive and you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit not having to come out there with just a one run lead. Stepping in now. Bravik Valera and he takes ball four so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Center fielder, Nick Rogers will get a chance to swing the bat here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. South at second Valera on at first with nobody out. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The one-two. And this one's tapped foul to home plate. Here he comes again one two and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. First and second here with nobody out. And he lays off so it's full now three and two. Charlie Culberson waits on deck. Solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Out of here into the visitors bullpen. So a three run blast to straight away left as it's now a six run ball game. Boy, talk about how an inning can get away from you, right? Three run homer already in this inning. They've yet to give up an out, and this could turn out to be one of those really ugly innings. Into the box now, Charlie Culberson. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. 
Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three runs already home here. Line toward right center. Oh, and this goes right past him. He threw first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Number 68 will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. No one out with a runner at second. Hot shot towards the hole, and that's through into left, a base hit. Fortunately, the bobble won't cost him a run as runners will stick at first and third. Just an absolute laser that time, screaming off the bat, if you will, and Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Yonder Alonso will get an opportunity off the bench here as he'll bat with runners at the corners now and still nobody out. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Ready with the one and two. Count still at one and two. The one two. Fouled away. Another 1-2 delivery. A wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Cortez has it and I'd be surprised if they send the runner and no shot of testing anything there he'll hold on at third with one gone so stepping in Franklin Holly he's one for four for the game the one two misses ball two amazing he was able to lay off in this situation your eyes light up when you get something above the belt, especially with a man on third base. He's set. Here's the 2 2. There's a swing and a high pop up. Number 21 is calling for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. 
Now batting Santiago Ruiz. Set up pitch right there, one and two. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. The short hit hard, reined in. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three run home run. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. International League stars on top seven to one. Your Nick Rogers play. will stay in the ball now game as he takes over in center. Number 75. Nick Rogers. Number 68 now will stay in the ball game 68. as he'll take over at first base. Randy Davino is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Randy Davino. Lucas Duda will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. And he just misses with a curveball. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. The 2 1 is in there for the second strike. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Anton Aguilera will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something Number started eight. here with one gone Anton in the inning. Aguilera. And the splitter's in there as he gets ahead here one and two. One out, nobody on. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The one two is laid off for ball two. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Standing in Russ Peters. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Taken called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Boy he looks strong out there in the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order too. And this ball swung on and hit to center field and this should do it. Rogers is there to make the catch and with that the ball game is over. Well this one had its moments of drama and excitement in the end. These guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. 7 1, the final score in tonight. The International League took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Joseph McCoy takes home the win. Reggie Meyer only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Fleesack, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.
Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious International League All-Star. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Pacific...